Hey Spuddies, Potato Whiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Arabia. Now we're still going for our scientific victory and I unfortunately I haven't been able to play this game for a couple of days. <clears throat> so there's been a little bit of a gap. Um, so I'm going to have to try and remember where we were with this. Um, I will I will say this though, <clears throat> I'm really enjoying this series so far. I, I've been getting some comments from people. <clears throat> About oh my god, I have like a tickle in my throat that only just started when uh, <laughs> when I started recording. Listen, we'll be fine. We found the giant's causeway and a shigadufugal, whatever it's called. Uh, so I, I'm ooh, I'm gonna want to probably I'm gonna probably want to send a settler over there. Uh, but yeah, I've been getting comments from people about about the series, and some people are really enjoying it so far, which is great. You know, uh, it, it's always good to get really good feedback. Um, but some people have, have raised some issues with, for example, like they don't like that I'm playing with mods or they don't like that um, that I had to cancel Germany and stuff like that. And I, I get that. I understand that. That's perfectly reasonable. Um, but the, the, the mods here are me um, trying to solve the problem that I have with the base game of Civilization 6, right? I'm trying to figure out how to make the game more fun for myself without making it too easy. And uh, you know, and, and you know what? Sometimes, sometimes it's okay for the game to be easy if you're like easier, if you're still having a good time, you know? So we just finished Divine Right, which unlocks the Madras upgrade, which is really nice because it has a housing and plus two science, although it does cost three maintenance. So that's something we're going to want to keep an eye on. We also got the temple upgrade, which is plus two faith and one food. Now we're, we're we're kind of swimming in faith, so I'm actually not too worried about that. I do want to check though, my religion, does my religion have tithe? It does, so I probably will. Uh, I, I may spend some of my faith to spread my religion a little bit, perhaps down towards, I might not spread it to Rio, but I might spread it down to, for example, Sanaa. Um, I might spread it up to Stockholm stuff like that so let me grab where is I need a holy site I think is there a holy site over here let's see if I can get my um where is the holy site I know there's holy sites over here and stuff like there's one so I'm am I looking for I'm think I'm looking for this kind of temple type thing Well, I tell you what I will do. I'll see if I can I remember where my holy sites are. Can I faith purchase here? No. Can I faith purchase here? No. Aleppo? No. I think I might have to do it. Which was my holy city? Uh, my holy city was... Baghdad. Okay. So Baghdad, that's where I'll get them. So let me click on Baghdad and then I will faith purchase. <laughs> um, I'll just grab a couple of regular missionaries because they're fairly cheap and they do the job, you know? Um, now, so we have construction available here in Baghdad. We just finished the basic water mill. And I think our big thing right now is, is kind of a few things. We need to get our science up. We need to get our gold up. We need to start focusing on getting great engineers, great merchants, and great scientists. And we need to um, just in general get our population up as well. So with that in mind, um, what's holding the city back? I think housing is going to be an issue in this city. So a madrasa could be pretty good. It has plenty of amenities, so grabbing the madrasa might do the trick to help it grow a little bit quicker. Uh, or, or, or grow a little bit taller, rather. Now in Mecca, we just finished the monument upgrade. Um, I will grab... There's, there's some housing to be had here. I think what I will do is I will grab the madrasa upgrade for the housing, just so it grows a little bit quicker. And the madrasa upgrade is just nice in general. Oh, you know what? Something I need to do, actually. I need to check my government here. Am I happy with my current policies? I think I'm pretty happy with these so far. I won't change anything. Uh, okay, here in Barca, um, it needs a builder, I think. 
So I'm going to grab a builder and stick down some mines here. Oh, I have a builder. Never mind. I don't need one. So one of you. So that should have been an upgrade there. This city is going to have food issues. So that's going to be something I need to work on. Um, what would provide the most amount of food? A harbor would provide a decent amount of food. So I think I will stick down a harbor. Because it'll also give me some gold. You can see here the coastal tiles. Uh, plus one food to all coast tiles and the inherent food in the lighthouse. So this city definitely needs some housing. So I'm going to grab the um, the lighthouse to help it just get that little bit taller. Just trying to squeeze out some extra housing in my empire. Now in Mecca, we are working these desert hills. So we're going to want to upgrade them with this builder. And we'll do that next turn with him. Uh, there's a bit of a scout battle going on over here. We'll shoot him. Okay, Baghdad, you have pretty much all of your tiles upgraded. So right now, when is when do I get civil service? Because that's when you unlock the ability. Is it civil service? What's the oh civil engineering? So I'm quite a bit away from getting civil engineering. Um, so I don't think it's worth it to put try to put a farm on a hill. Um, I could put another mine here. How's the city city's food? The city's got a decent amount of food. So I'll stick a, a house over here. Or a, um, a mine over here, rather. A house. <laughs> um, okay, I was going to put a farm here. Because I want the farm triangle. So that this city has like a really strong growth potential. And you can see now it's four food, three one, and four food. So that's, that's a lot of food for this city. It should help it reach its maximum potential uh, much quicker. Uh, a question here. Did I actually ever unlock lumber mills? I did. So my question is, do I go for the lumber mill on these hills or do I go ahead and um, do I go ahead and just put mines on them? That's a tough decision to make. I'll put a mine on this hill. And that'll be a decent little place. But I'll keep this little farm triangle. I will delete that build icon. So do I want to put a mine down here? I suppose we are already, already working that tile. So it makes sense to lock it in and then improve it up to a mine. Which will make it a little bit better. Which will give this city, you know, a little bit of production. Take one turn off its builds. You know, and, and production adds up over the over the course of a game in a big way. So you're working quite a few tiles. Um, my question is, uh, what are you? What are you actually going to be getting? I would like a holy site here. I would like an industrial zone here at some point also. I could put a mine there, but that's also a really good spot for a uh, holy site. Like because of the mountain. But it's also a decent spot for an industrial zone if I build two mines here. Um, but over here is a really good spot for an industrial zone for this town. So I think what I will do is I'm going to chop this forest. And then stick down a couple of farms. I'll chop out another builder over here. I'll go to the next turn. Whew. It was, I, I feel like that was a productive turn. Um, okay, we've got we've got a bunch of madrasas coming out. And we've got some campuses finishing. We're also working on a lot of like stuff like that. Actually, something that's worth checking right now is... Okay, so we just got progress towards colonialism. What, what, what's, what's the boost for colonialism? And we just got astronomy as well. Colonialism... 
Is that in like the industrial, the renaissance era? The industrial era, nationalism, colonialism. Okay, so research the astronomy technology, okay. Um, now the question is, we were gonna go ahead and try and get, where is astronomy? Here. We were going to go ahead and try and get the Potala Palace. So let me see. Is there... It cannot be built over here. It can be built over here. So what are the requirements of the Potala Palace? It must be built on a hill adjacent to a mountain. So I think I'll use this tile over here. Because I, I think the desert hill tiles are better. And it'll take 12 turns here, which is, you know, a pretty reasonable build time in this city, because this city's really good. And that'll give me the extra, I think, diplomatic slot, right? Uh, so we finished a builder in Cairo. So let me have a look at Cairo. Do you need any tile? Tiles improved? Uh, you've got these. These are good. There's a couple of forests here that could do, have some work done on them. You could use a farm triangle over here, maybe. <laughs> Um, oh, I meant to flip these around. I screwed up here a little bit, but that's not a major issue. I will put a mine over there. Mines are really good, and I just always want more of them. Um, I could grab more builders and then send them out places. I could also grab settlers to send over to here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab a settler. To send over here. Um, in Aleppo. So Aleppo just finished its madrasa. It's having a housing issue. I do want to... I want like... I want like quite a few of these things. I think the madrasa giving the house is nice. How are you fixed? You could really use like a couple of builders actually. Um... I'll get started on your industrial zone so that you have some extra production. I'll plop that down and then I will grab you a builder real quick. Could I purchase? I could just purchase you the builder actually. I think, yeah, purchasing the builder seems perfectly reasonable. And then I'll just work on the industrial zone. So I finished the library here in Damietta. Uh, I, I think grabbing the madrasa is going to be a big deal just to get my science up there so that I'm churning through the technology tree a little bit quicker. Um, I could get the lighthouse upgrade. I don't think I need it. The city seems to be in good shape to move on. It's got like a little bit of production. It's not got a huge amount of production. I am going to want to solve that production issue. Um... The question is, how do I solve that production issue? And I think it's with a builder. And I think I have enough to purchase a builder here. I will grab the monument just so that it grows a little bit quicker. And here in Iraq, which I think is the name that Iraq, or the city that Iraq is named after, I think. Uh, I might grab a monument. The extra little bit of culture be pretty nice just so that it grabs tiles a little bit quicker and I am I do need culture because I'm a little I'm a little bit behind I'm gonna switch here real quick I will you know I'll, I'll, just, I'll just do a regular old chop and that'll that'll speed things up a little bit I will stick a mine down here because that'll improve that tile and I am working that tile um a lot of these things need improvements. So here's my missionary. Where was I going to send these missionaries? I think I was going to send one uh, over to Yerevan and one over to Stockholm. I'm going to put you on alert. 
Okay, so I think the only tile left to really improve is this jungle tile. And the best way to improve a jungle tile is by chopping it, because they're kind of useless, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, okay, so we're about to finish machinery, which unlocks the crossbowman. But more importantly, it's the lumber mill. And some where we have forests on hills on rivers, it'll definitely be worth it to keep them around for the extra production. If we need it, for example, these two could make decent um, lumber mill locations. Uh, we got, we're ready to claim a great person, and it is a great merchant. I'm going to recruit him, but I'm quickly going to check what's the next great person. Okay, I'm not so I don't I don't care if someone else gets him. So what is your ability? Each great merchant has unique abilities. So Raja. So, that's actually pretty good. This should significantly increase the amount of gold I'm making. Uh, quite a bit. And that should have been like a significant increase here because of the trade routes now. I'm getting an extra little bit from the trade routes, which is nice. Um, I will send a trade route to Baghdad. Homes. Do I want a library? We just finished the campus. I could go for like a market. I could go for gold here. Wait, what's my technology situation? That's the question I should be asking. I need to get more ahead. So I'll go for the library here. This place could use a little bit of food. It's not on a river though, so it'll be hard to get food. It is growing. I could make a little farm triangle here. If I made a builder. I would like to get a start on other stuff though. A holy site wouldn't be unreasonable. Nor would a theater square, actually. So let me get started on a builder so I can chop out some of these forests. Train a pikeman. Great musician. Humanism. A lot of these I'm not going to be able to get. So I'm the suzerain here. So let me have a look here. Uh, I think I will stick lumber mills on these two. <sighs> Maybe these three. Because they're on the river. And river river lumber mills are really good because they get their they reach their maximum capacity here at this technology. Which is which isn't too late at all. It basically turns these into hills, which is really nice. Um This is about to grow, so it could definitely use another tile. So I'll grab that one there. Um, you would probably work that if I improved it. So I will improve it. And that should make it more attractive than your other tiles. Yep. Okay, let's have a look at this city. So I think this is improved. This is improved. This is improved. This is not improved, but I don't mind the city working that for now. I am going to chop this. I'm going to pretty much chop all of the forests here. Um, but primarily this one first. I'm going to get this mine online with this builder. Next unit. I will. Yeah, I wanted to chop this uh, rainforest here because it's not very useful. So this city now has some okayish housing. I still need to get those fish online and stuff. Um, so I could possibly use another builder here. Because I still have a lot of tile improvements to make. I'll go to the next turn. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like I'm I'm really enjoying this mod setup. I think I think I've talked about that before. This is something I, I feel like this is like a really 
it's like a nice balance and i don't mean balance from a sort of statement of like the game is balanced by balance i mean i feel like the mods play well together and um, it's interesting to play with these mods okay we just unlocked construction which is the stable upgrade wall upgrade siege tower Man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession so that in these days of changing fortunes we also unlocked guilds i don't think we will be making chichen itza um i don't think it makes rainforest tiles good enough and i don't think it's worth the production to build it uh it does feel as though adjacency bonuses is cute but not very useful similarly com commercial hub adjacency bonuses are actually nice and may in fact actually be better than caravanseries so we'll see if we go beyond 200 or, or 78.2 from the commercial hub adjacency bonuses then we know we're onto a winner so we'll see we'll slot that in and see i could go around and calculate it but i'm hoping that i'm just like yeah i got a very very slight increase of gold um which is a confirmation of what we were hoping for so athens just finished it it's um, commercial hub. I think it's time that I built some of these buildings. I'll grab some traders though around my empire because I do have tra available trade routes that I'm not using. And I think if you're not using them, you know, they're going to waste. Use it or lose it, essentially. Yeah, I definitely think that tile is better. Um, any unlocked tiles? I have two. I have two. Um, I'm working two forest tiles that aren't super great. How's your food here? You could definitely use more food. So I might chop like a farm triangle over here. No, maybe here. If I did it, I could do it here or here. Yeah, I think I'll do it here. Um, a farm triangle right over there. Um, so I have a builder here. You're going to run over to Cairo. And help with the farm triangle. You have two builds left here. Um. So. What do we need to do? How is your food surplus? Your food surplus is pretty decent, so I could afford to make a couple of mines. I think I will stick a mine down here. Or you know what, I'll do a chop and a mine there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick down a lumber mill. Because that give me the math production tech. Um, it also... Um, makes this way better of a tile. Although this city is a little bit starved for food and housing. So we'll have to see how we figure that out. I will drop a... I could drop a mine there or I could improve the two fish tiles. I think I'm going to improve the fish and crab. Because I do have a... Oh, we discovered like a tribal village or something. Oh, it looks like this is Australia, New Zealand down here maybe? Or Hawaii? I'm not really... I'm actually... You know, I couldn't point to Hawaii on a map actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. I know it's in the Pacific Ocean somewhere. But that's about the extent of my knowledge of Hawaii. Okay, so Baghdad, I finished the Madrasa. Um... So let me have a look. Uh, I don't need temple upgrades right now. I don't need the plus one food from plantations. Plus one production will be good for the game. Considering it would only take one turn. It would take 25 turns for it to pay off. And there's definitely 25 turns left in this game. I could also stick down my industrial hub. I'm going to stick down my eye hub. Just so this city has better production. I'm going to improve this forest again. Uh, I think I've more or less improved all of the good tiles around here. The only thing that's missing are maybe these, this crab and this cotton. Okay, yeah, you're going to chop here. Well, let me, let me switch to something more reasonable. Um... What am I going to make in this city? I don't really have room for 
buildings. Although I could stick one here, right? I don't remember what I was going to do with this tile, but I remember I had a plan for it. Oh wow, I could make the Colossus. An extra trade route for a coast tile? I mean, that doesn't seem like the terrible trade. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go over here and chop instead. I changed my mind. I'm gonna stick a mine down here. I think I'm already working that tile. So a mine, or I was working a similar tile at least, so a mine on it is, you know, a perfectly reasonable thing to do. I could put a farm there and that would be helpful if I did that. How many charges does this builder have left? He has plenty of charges, so I'll quickly get this online. Um, yeah, I will put a fishing boat here and then I want you to go over to that fish over there. That made that tile quite a bit better, especially because we're work we have a uh, harbor next turn. Oh, nice. We discovered the Cliffs of Dover. There's where London or London goes here somewhere. And the Cliffs of Dover, you know, they're not amazing. If if the if the Cliffs of Dover had food, OK, if they had just regular food tiles and if you could put farms on them, they would be great. But the fact that it's you just get golden culture off them, it makes them kind of I don't want to say bad because they're not terrible. They're just not really worth making an effort for. They're just not worth the effort for the reward. And I think if you could put farms on them and they had at least one food, they would be way better tiles. They should, I think they're, they should be really two food, two gold, two culture. And I think that would be like really good. And that would make them like a very... A very outstanding two tile, two tile wonder that people would be excited to get. Rather than, like if you see the Cliffs of Dover, you're like, oh great, there's two tiles I can't use, right? That's what most people think. Okay, so we've got Reformed Church, um, which will give us the, what was, what was our, which gives us the upgrade for our third religious building. I don't remember which one we had, but we also got Theocracy now. Um, we have Theocracy, so I might switch over to Theocracy. Because if we look at it now, we're we're in Classical Republic. Which is 2-1-1. One, one. Now we do lose the Great People points. Um, which is nice, right? Don't get me wrong. The Great People points are really nice. But we could also go for Theocracy and maybe buy some Great People. So I'm going to switch to Theocracy. Which shouldn't greatly change our um, a setup. <sighs> So I'm going to put in unit maintenance here. That'll save me a little bit of money. I'm also going to put in the plus one amenity for cities with a garrison. Although I don't really have an amenity problem. I'm going to put it in anyway. That's what she said. No. <laughs> um, God, I can't. I'm so glad that, that that's what she said thing went away. Because, like, it was just so bad. Everyone said it for everything. I was just like, that's what she said. And I was like, God damn it. Just, God, just stop. Just stop, please. Um, I, I, could, I could use housing here, and a madrasa would give me housing. I could also get a mosque, or I could upgrade some of these things. So let me, let me, let me think about this. This place has... It needs housing, so I'm thinking... I could purchase the madrasa next turn and instead just sink like two turns into a market upgrade. Um, I think that's actually not a bad idea. I'll sink two turns into a market upgrade because that'll give me a little bit of gold over the course of the game. Uh, I'll grab the monument upgrade here. I still need lots of culture, so I'm just trying to get it where I can. I'm going to move in here and start spreading Islam to Stockholm. Whoa, there's a political. <laughs> Watch out for the comics, the comment section there, boys. <laughs> there's some topical memes right there. Woo. Jesus, I better be careful, you know. Um, I might start a flame war if I say something like spreading Islam to Stockholm. <laughs> um, for anyone who doesn't know, there's like a big, you know, just like, you know, I'm not even going to explain it, but basically... People say things about Sweden and Islam, and they're not nice things. And it just so happened that we're 
you know, we're the Islamic religion. And we're spreading the Stockholm. So it was, uh, whew. But if you care, I better stop talking about this or else the comments will really will be a flame war. Um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to leave off this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm a little bit tired and kind of, you know, ener disenergized today. So maybe I'm speaking a little bit slowly, but maybe I'm just being self-conscious. Um, I love you all very much and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.